So what if you have got this data in Microsoft Excel? This data contains customer ID, age, gender, name, email ID and other columns. You have to extract two specific columns from this data. That is name and email ID. What most of the Excel users do is that they select this entire column then copy the data here, paste it right here. Then again go here copy the email ID column and paste it here. But now with the introduction of choose calls function in Microsoft Excel, there's a better way to do this. You just have to use the choose calls function. Input the array here. Then select the column number. All you have to do is to give the index of column numbers. The name column has the index 4 because it is the 4th column and the email id column has the index 5 because it is the 5th column. And just close the parenthesis here, hit enter on the keyboard. So here you have these two columns, name and email id. The interesting thing about this is that it's all dynamic. For example, if the name of this customer changes from John to Daniel, the change will be reflected here. So that means it is a dynamic, a more efficient way of doing things in Microsoft Excel. Now let's look at how we can extract even columns only from this array that is column number two, column number four, column number six and column number eight. So we just have to use the choose columns function again. Then select this array. To select this entire array, select the top left cell first, then control shift and down arrow on the keyboard, then again control shift and right arrow on the keyboard. This will select the entire array. Then to bring the cursor back to the point, back to the cell where you are typing the formula, just hit control and backspace on the keyboard and it will bring your cursor back here. Then, then you have to input the column number. Here you have to use the sequence function. The sequence should generate a sequence of even numbers, 2, 4, 6 and so on and so forth. Here you have to use the round down formula. Then you have to use the columns function, then input the array. What the columns function will do, it will get the number of columns. Then you have to divide this number by 2. If there are 10 columns, that means 10 divided by 2 comes up to 5. That means you have to extract 5 columns. And if there is odd number of columns, for example, there is 9 columns in the range, then 9 divided by 2 comes up to 4.5. Then here 4.5 has to be rounded down to 4 because in case of 9 columns, there are only 4 even columns. So that is why you are using the round down function here. So the first argument for the round down function here is this number, number of columns divided by 2. Then the second argument for it is number of digits. Number of digits means the decimal points. Here you want zero decimal points, you want the integer back so you, so you will use zero here. Close the parenthesis. Then for sequence function, your second argument is columns. You will use 1 for columns here. Then for start value, you will use 2 because the even number starts from 2. Then the stuff value is again 2 because you add 2 to the start value. That is 2 point plus 2 comes up to 4. Then again, you will add 2. That is 6. Then again, plus 2 means 8. So the start value is 2 and stuff value is 8. You will close the sequence function here. Then close the choose calls function again. Hit enter on the keyboard. So here you will see it returns an array here, age, name, country, quantity, total sales. So these are all the even columns. Column second is age here, then column fourth is name, then column sixth is country, and column eighth is quantity, and so on and so forth. So this formula here, this extracts even columns only. Now what if you have to extract odd columns from this array? It is the uh, logic is the same you just have to make minor adjustments to this formula let's delete this here again let's again use the choose calls function here select the array 
then use a sequence function. For sequence function, your first argument is rows. For rows, again, you are using the columns function here. Then array is this divided by two. But here, you have to round it up. So you have to wrap the columns function within the round up function. In case you have to extract even columns, in that case you are using the round down function. But in case you have to extract odd columns, in that case you have to use the round up function. Because for example, if if the if your array has nine columns, in that case you divide nine by two, that comes up to four point five. But there are five odd columns in this array, so you have to round up four point five to the nearest integer that is 5. That is why you are using the round up function here. Then the second argument for the round up function here is number of digits. Again, you will use 0 because you want 0 decimal points. You want the integer back. Close the round up function. Then for sequence function, your first argument is this entire function here. Then the second argument for the sequence function is columns. So again, you will use a 1 here. Then start value. In case of odd number of columns, in case you have to extract odd number of columns, in that case your start value will be 1 because odd value will start from 1. And your stuff value will be 2 because you will add 2 to 1. That is the, the, sec, the next column will be column 3rd. Then again the next column will be column 5th. So your stuff value here will be 2. Then you will close. Uh, the sequence function then again close the choose calls function hit enter on the keyboard now here it extracts an array here the array contains odd columns column 1 that is customer age then column 3rd that is gender column 5th that is email so on and so forth so that is so this is how you use the choose calls function to extract alternate columns that is either even columns only or odd columns only now we'll again look at another situation, another scenario where we have to reverse the order of the columns. Reversing the order of the columns means flipping this entire array. Flipping array means the last column in the source array should be the first column in the resultant array. And the first column in the source array must be the last column in the resultant array. Let's look at how we can do this in Excel using the choose calls function. Again, we will use the choose calls function here. Then give it the array. The array is this. Then, then for column number, we will again use the sequence function. Then again, inside the sequence function, we will use the columns function. Then input this array as the argument for the columns function. Remember here, the columns function will return the number of columns and that number will go as an input to the sequence function. If there are 10 columns here, so the sequence function will return 10, a sequence of numbers starting from 1 to 10. So that is what we are doing here. Then we will close this sequence function here. The other arguments for the sequence function are optional. So in case we don't input any value for the other arguments like column, step value and start value, in that case, 1 will be the default value for those arguments. Close the sequence function here and multiply it by minus 1. When we multiply the sequence function by minus 1, it will return a negative sequence of numbers starting from minus 1 up to minus 10. That means what the choose calls function will do, it will return the array from bottom to top because minus 1 will be the first number that means the choose columns function will return the last column first then minus 2 means the choose columns function will return the second last column so that is how the choose columns function will work in this case let's close the choose columns function hit enter on the keyboard so here you have this first column here total sales notice here that this total sales is the last column but using this formula we have re reversed the order of the columns Total sales is now the first column. Again, this unit price is the second column. It was the second last column, but now it is the second column. Quantity was the third last column here, but it is the third column now in the resultant array. 
So that was about the choose goals function. I hope this video was helpful. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Keep supporting, subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.